Hello and good evening. I am your host, Big Money Jellica, and we are live from New York City. And for the sake of quality, due to our amazing time travel crew, we have the most advanced equipment in the state. Now let's get on with it. Today is Wednesday, April 12th, which marks the fourth year of the Civil War. And we got some hot stuff cooking up in the Confederate White House. Miss Mary Richards Browser, a former, I guess, slave, turned spy for the Union. And we got some news on her today. Spy Master Elizabeth Van Lu finally speaks about her opinion on the country calling her a spy. We caught her walking near Hughes Tower, Virginia, the other day, and she said this. I do not know how they can call me a spy, serving my own country within its recognized borders. For my loyalty, I am now to be branded a spy by my own country, for which I was willing to lay down my life for? Is that honorable or honest? God knows. And I am held in contempt and scorned by the narrow-minded men and women of my city for my loyalty. Socially, living as utterly alone in the city of my birth as if I spoke a different language. Ouch. Tough life. You see, it was Stan who went out and probably made her all stressed and stuff. You can hear his little feet pattering towards her. Because, you know, you you have a devastating aura that just makes other people unhappy. You know, making other people feel like they want to check the walls. <sighs> Miss Mary Jane Bowser. Not much is known about her past life, but some sources say that she was born in Richmond, Virginia, and baptized by the Van Loos when she was young. And as you may know, baptizing slaves is not very common. Years later, Mr. Van Loo passed and his daughter and wife set all their slaves free and sent Miss Mary to be educated up north. In about her teens, she went to Africa to become a missionary. Came back, got arrested because of the freed slaves law in Virginia. Elizabeth Van Loo, daughter of Mr. Van Loo, helped her out of prison by telling the authorities that she was still a slave. Mary Jane gets married to Wilson Bowser at St. John's Church, so she's now Mary Bowser. Elizabeth gets her a job as a servant to none other than Mr. Jefferson Davis, president of the Confederacy. And nobody in the Confederacy knew that she was telling all of the info that she saw and heard all the way back to the Union. Da 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 da! Last we heard of her was her speech on September 11. More news at Pentamox Road, Virginia. Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrenders its 28,000 troops to Union General Ulysses S. Grant, effectively ending the American Civil War. Woohoo! For the North! Well, I guess that about sums it up. And that is all the news that I have for you today. Thank you for joining us this evening. My name is Big Money Jellica, and as soon as this broadcast is over, I am going to fire Stan. Turn off the camera.